Hey guys, Roy Van Fleet here. Welcome to the Rob Bernanke Online Academy version 2.0 of BJJConcepts.net. I'm excited to show you guys the new features of the website as well as some of our updated materials since the last walkthrough. There's a lot of great resources to learn Brazilian Jiu Jitsu online. However, we find that a lot of it isn't structured in a way that's easy to learn and it's easy to get lost within all the material. Here Rob breaks down the students sections so that you know where to start and where to progress to. Everyone should start at core concepts. All the concepts you need to fully understand Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and how to focus your training for maximum results. Whether you're a complete beginner who needs to understand the concepts behind the techniques and why they work, or you're more advanced, I still think that it's important for you to click on this because Rob breaks down these core concepts in such great detail that you'll probably learn a few things still from it. But these are concepts that we are constantly referencing throughout every video that we've done. So here we go through core concepts such as alignment, base, posture, and structure, frames, levers, wedges, timing, rotational control, braking mechanics, a lot of great stuff here. Once you feel you understand core concepts, the next step is going through the BGG 101 section, our fundamentals curriculum that builds a proper foundation of efficient movement patterns while teaching you the essential positions in BGG and how to control or escape them. This is the exact material that Rob teaches at his Brick and Mortar Academy on top team in Nanaimo, British Columbia. So obviously there's the positions here. So if you've never done Brazilian Jiu Jitsu before, you're gonna be able to understand the differences of full mount, side control, back control, and guard, etc. And then we break down the main important areas of development. We have guard retention, guard sweeping, passing the guard, escaping negative bottom position, escaping back control. Back control is a real pain in the ass to escape and so we've de dedicated an entire module just to that. Top control, so that you understand how to control your center of gravity and stay on top, controlling side control and mount, etc. We have the back control module. So say for example, back control, we have ways of controlling the back, but also getting to the back. So arm drags, chair sit, overview of the turtle, how it works, what it looks like, and then a bunch of videos on how to attack the turtle, following it, maintaining and resetting the back, hand fighting to the rear naked choke, and how to finish the rear naked choke. The rear naked choke is the only submission we talk about in the BGG 101 section because it's more driven to showing you guys how to keep yourself in proper alignment and how to break your opponent's alignment. So you have to be able to control your own body and have the ability to then control your opponent's body and create vulnerability within their alignment before you can even think about trying to submit them. We also have grip breaking, solo movements, and a few videos of the monthly Q&A before we had moved it to the pedagogy membership so you guys get to see how that's structured. The next section is the bread and butter of this website and where we spend most of our time updating material. BGG 201, our advanced curriculum that includes all of our guard and submission control modules. So if you're looking for material on the arm bar, back control, shoulder clamp guard, pressure passing, submission defense, single leg X, guillotine control, Kimuras, half guard modules, we have takedown modules, we have gi chokes, X guard, omoplata, this is where we're spending most of the time adding material to our website. So let's take a look at BGJ201 Triangle Control Module. The Triangle Control Module has 60 videos dedicated to just mastering the triangle choke. Rob breaks this stuff down in incredible detail like he does with every module and structures it in a similar format in which we're going to be talking about the position or the subject matter itself as a position so you understand how to control it. Here, He's gonna show how to finish all the different kinds of triangles so that you understand the differences and the similarities. So it's st standard triangle, triangle from mount, back triangle, the different versions of the back triangles. And then once you start to understand that, go through a whole plethora of material of how to enter into the triangle choke. Once you understand how to enter the triangle, show you how to kind of bail out of it if you need to, show you how to set up different submissions so that as you're dealing with the common defenses that skilled opponents are going to be throwing at you, you're going to be able to threaten with arm bars, key locks, kimuras, omoplatas, and finishing the mounted triangle against an obnoxious opponent. So here are 60 videos. Every one of our modules typically are 20 upwards of 50 to 60 videos. An amazing amount of information that Rob's providing. 
Next is the drilling section, fuck your jiu-jitsu. If you don't like swearing, we also call it frames and levers, especially if you are teaching a kids program. And so, fuck your jiu-jitsu is basically a way of drilling in which we're maximizing our training efficiency to develop specific areas of our game. So say for example, with fuck your jiu-jitsu sweeping, the person on top is looking to just work on controlling their center of gravity, stability, and balance by letting the opponent on bottom establish any kind of guard that they choose and then shutting down their sweep attempts. They are not looking to pass, they are not looking to submit, and the person on bottom is not looking to try and submit. They are only looking to work on their sweeps and their different guards to knock their opponent down. And so here Rob will go through the different stages of sweeping, Kazushi and center of gravity, changing levers into frames, denying lever access, denying the technical stand-up and the technical stand-up battle. All important parts of any kind of guard and sweep that you try, you need to understand these concepts. And then obviously some narrated roles of us demonstrating what these look like to give you guys some food for thought on how to handle some of the different situations that you face, as well as knowing what we're trying to teach here. We do this for sweeping, we do this for passing, we do this for top control, back control, and submission control, which is the more traditional submission defense kind of sparring that you guys are probably used to. And then what I think is probably the gem of this website is the pedagogy section for instructors. That is gonna be the higher priced membership. This section is for instructors or those looking to become instructors. We will take you through how to build communication skills, design lesson plans or class structures, encourage proper training attitude and maintain safety. We will also give you unparalleled insight into the use of movie references, song references and politically incorrect humor to entertain your students and discourage horrible people from coming to your school and ruining the vibe. If you guys don't know Rob, expect that there's going to be a lot of humor throughout these videos as well as his descriptions that he puts on the videos it's not absolutely for everybody but you cannot deny that rob is authentic what you see is what you get and he likes to use humor to kind of break everything up make it a little more fun to learn in this section rob breaks down how he designed his program at island top team goes over all the different material that he knows about how to teach effectively because teaching is a skill that needs to be constantly developed just like our Brazilian Jiu Jitsu techniques. So here we got the lesson designs, Rob breaks down the definition of concept, definition of principles, context definition, mini games and micro battles to help hone skills in specific areas, lesson design, the uh, lesson design template that you can use for basically any technique. Uh, I filmed a 40 minute video showing just a sample class of one of our 101 classes so you get to see Rob teach and how it's kind of broken up with drilling and sparring. We have the kids program. So here program design, this, videos, uh, this section features videos on how to focus classes, how to distribute fundamental and advanced classes and other material to optimize development when creating a BGG program. So how to layer the week, how to layer the month, the intro that we do for new students talking about atmosphere, establishing class levels, how to be more effective at coaching at tournaments, how to teach seminars, private classes. This is a really interesting section, Academy Operations. Rob has been operating Island Top Team successfully for over six years now, and he's done it very well in my opinion. Started small, minimized risk and overhead, and it has a flourishing business. So here he gives his tips on starting your own academy, all this stuff of going through planning, pre-launch, designing the curriculum, creating an identity, establishing a five, billing systems, contracts, information that is very difficult to find anywhere else. In-house tournaments, using in-house competitions to help create five and a friendly atmosphere. The academy website, tips on that, and tips on expanding. Monthly Q&A, which is a great added benefit for you guys. We're in the closed Facebook group. I put out a post at the end of every month to just collect questions. And then members with pedagogy access are able to ask questions and get them answered directly from Rob and myself. Subscriber analysis and rolling analysis. So if you have seen the videos that I do on my YouTube channel, RVVBGJ, this is gonna be a rolling analysis of us at the gym at Island Top Team, me rolling, Rob rolling, Cal rolling, any of our other students rolling, where I'm breaking down the concepts and showing them with graphics as they happen. So it's gonna help you understand the concepts and how that takes place within the technique. 
but it's also gonna make you better at watching two people roll and it's gonna make you better at being able to provide feedback. And with the subscriber analysis, I'm doing that, but I'm just doing it for you guys. So anyone that's a subscriber, send me a video and I will do my best to break it down in a way that you're gonna be able to take a lot from it. Some tips on how to train around injuries and some tips behind the mental aspect of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, which is gonna be the mind games. So with version 2.0 of the website, we got some exciting new changes. It's been optimized, so it's a heck of a lot faster, but we also have some other features. Here, if I click onto a few things, we now have a favorite section. And so every video now has a star here that we're able to click on to add to favorites. Once it's added to the favorites, this star below the video is gonna take us to the favorites page. Here, it's now added, starting your own academy. If I just click on it, it'll take me there. If I wanna take it off my favorites, once I've done learning that technique or I've taken the information I can from a video, click it off, it's no longer there. Another feature we have is the course map here. It's only on desktop, but if you click it, it's gonna bring out the entire dashboard for you. So we got the core concepts, 101, 201, Fuck Your Jiu Jitsu, and Pedagogy. You're gonna be able to navigate through this material right here. Let's go to Delahiva Guard. Here we have this button that takes us back to the parent page. So here we have the, we're at the home page for Delahiva Guard. As I go through this and go to Kazushi with Grips, I can now navigate quickly by just clicking the arrows here, which is extremely easy for navigation. So I can go to Delaheva 5, 6, maintenance first floating pass, 7, maintenance drill, and then if I want to, I hit this, and it'll take me right back to the Delaheva guard so that I can maneuver through here. So that is excellent, really speeds everything up. We have the coming soon section in which we kind of just talk about some of the stuff for the week, so arm triangles, Pedagogy Mind Games continues and the July Q&A. Here we have a breakdown of what we're doing in July and then in August talking about new guard retention material for the BGA 101 and we're starting arm triangle and darts entries. What's new? Something we found is that people sometimes take a week or two away from the website or even longer depending on what their work or family obligations are. So we have the what's new page that goes over what's been added over the last 30 days so that in case you haven't been able to visit us for a while, you're not gonna get left behind on material. And we have a link to the Facebook group, which would take you to the Facebook group here. The Rob Bernanke Online Academy, we have close to 500 members that are dedicated to a conceptual approach to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And this is just a great place for providing feedback to the website, things that you like or things that you want changed or recommend changing, as well as being able to ask questions. And you either will be able to get answers directly from myself, or you're gonna have an awesome group of people here dedicated to that conceptual approach where they're becoming very proficient at being able to answer questions for you and engaging in discussions. So guys, we got over 1200 videos now on the Rob Bernanke Online Academy, bjjconcepts.net. I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough and I look forward to hopefully working with you guys in the future.